It's Monday and as we journey through Lent together, we're continuing our look at Luke's account of Jesus being tested in the desert. Let's pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. Today we're going to move on to the second recorded temptation in Luke chapter 4 verses 5 and 6. Luke chapter 4 verse 5. The devil led Jesus up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. When we have to work for things, I think we appreciate and value them more. And in terms of developing our spiritual life, there usually aren't shortcuts on the way God is leading us. Discipline and perseverance are often involved and the journey we go through can be a learning experience in itself. Through the highs and the lows, our relationship with God grows. When we acknowledge Jesus as King, our lives aren't immediately transformed with no effort on our part. We're promised rewards in heaven, but there are things we must go through first. Jesus knew the road ahead of him. He knew that before being exalted to the highest place by God, great suffering was coming in the form of humiliation, violence and death on a cross. We can understand the temptation to skip that bit and jump straight to the happy ending. But Jesus knew that his sacrifice was the means to bring others into the family of God and his love for the people he'd created kept him on the path God had chosen for him. When we're offered something that seems too good to be true, it might raise our suspicions. And in this case, those suspicions would be right. We'll discover tomorrow that there was a catch to this offer. For today, let me read some words from 2 Peter chapter 1 to encourage you to work with God as you journey with him and grow in faith. God's divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and to mutual affection love. Take a moment to pray through the things we've thought about today.
Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin, help us to guard the inner space in our lives by keeping faithful to our life of prayer. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose and to praise your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.